Situated high in the mountains of northern India live a people displaced from the highlands of their native home. Only a few miles away from their homeland, they dream of a time when they can go home. The Tibetan Buddhists of northern India are generally a peaceful people, but back in the 1940s and 50s, the Chinese invaded their territory to expand the borders of their communist empire and drove out the leadership of Tibet. About 170,000 fled for their lives. But political oppression is not the only force that keeps these people from true freedom. They practice Tantric Buddhism, a religion of works that promises to lead one to enlightenment, the pinnacle of their beliefs. In the process, they are kept bound by fear and superstition. In this mountainous region, they have erected numerous temples and monasteries to promote their philosophy and culture. Here they offer prayers to gods that cannot hear, see or speak and make requests to idols of wood and stone. Long forgotten are the words of their creator. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. There is a better way for the Tibetan people, a way of hope for a people lost to the dictates of a mere man worshipped as a God. Jesus is the way. But how will the Tibetans hear if there is no one to tell them? Are these people so deeply entrenched in their beliefs that there is little or no hope of reaching them? The country of Tibet is now incorporated into the geopolitical boundaries of communist China. As such, because the Chinese have sealed off the entrance of Christian witness to the roof of the world, or Tibet, Adventist Frontier Missions has selected the Tibetan refugees in northern India as the target group for this project. 3,000 years ago, Caleb asked Joshua for the mountains in the land of the giants as a reward for his wholehearted service to God. As yet I am as strong this day as on the day that Moses sent me, just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for war, both for going out and for coming in. Now therefore, give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the Anakim were there, and that the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me, and I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. AFM seeks to initiate a project in these highlands to fulfill this very dream in the heart of Buddhism, only miles away from the Dalai Lama, the spiritual leader of the Tibetan people. The God of Heaven is looking for a family that will humbly yet boldly declare, Lord, give us this mountain.
Tibetan people are stout-hearted, friendly and outgoing as they seek to live in harmony with their environment. Tibetan is the heart language of the people, though Hindi is the common trade language in the area. Some English is spoken in the region. In and around the city you will find children playing games, individuals buying goods at the marketplace, people eating at local restaurants and passers-by spinning prayer wheels of the local temples. Monks can be seen everywhere and on special occasions the Dalai Lama makes an appearance. Shortly after he was exiled from China in 1959, he established the Tibetan government in exile. Historically, the Dalai Lama heads the Tibetan government, but when he dies, his reincarnation will have to wait until he grows into adulthood to lead. This will leave a void in the leadership. Now that the Dalai Lama is advanced in age, many who revere him fear that his death will deeply harm their cause. Because his institution is one of Tibet's greatest strengths, at the same time, they feel that it is one of their weaknesses because they are so dependent on him. Because the reason for political situation is very bad inside Tibet. When the Dalai Lama dies, they will be seeking for answers in their moment of distress. The opportunity to reach the Tibetans will be at its peak. You, as a missionary, will have the opportunity to teach them how to depend on a father who is eternal. Adventist Frontier Missions has been invited to partner with the Northern India Union and Gospel Outreach to train, supervise and inspire teams of Gospel Outreach Indian volunteers as they labor to plant churches in Tibetan refugee centers. AFM missionaries will act as team leaders for the Indian workers, in addition to focusing on training and the development of materials. The Adventist Church in the Northern India Union will provide four to five volunteers who will be assigned to remote locations, such as Leh Ladakh, Durham Mashala, Dehradun and Missouri and India's capital city, Delhi. These cities are places where there are significant numbers of Tibetans in exile. Each location will become a separate church planting project. Delhi is the capital of the nation of India. There is an enclave in the city, New Aruna Nagar, that houses the Tibetan refugees of the area. It is a crowded area in one of the largest metropolitan areas in India. Dehra Dun is an overgrown, sprawling city that sits at the foothills of the Himalayan mountains. Its valleys produce the world-renowned basmati rice. Almost 7,000 feet above Dehra Dun sits Missouri, once a British hill station, now a centre for higher education hosting multiple boarding academies, as well as being the home of several Tibetan refugee centres. The city of Leh Ladakh hosts some of the most difficult living conditions, situated at an elevation of nearly 12,000 feet. Winters are severely cold with blowing snow and temperatures dipping to as low as minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Roads are closed in early October and do not reopen until early spring. In addition, the climate is generally dry. Due to the harshness of the climate and terrain, much of the produce will have to be brought in from some distance. Durham Shala is the Indian home of the Dalai Lama and the Tibetan government in exile. There is a sizable Tibetan population here, as well as a considerable number of global tourists who visit here to see the Nam Gyal Monastery, the palace, and to witness the Tibetan culture being lived out in daily life. It is here that the AFM missionary family will be based. The AFM missionary family will live alongside the Tibetans in that locale, working with one of the local volunteers in sharing the gospel, developing resources to reach Tibetans, and overseeing the other projects in partnership with the members of the Northern India Union leadership team. 
The strength that AFM brings to this team is that our people are grounded in scripture and the Advent message. We have the experience in personally sharing Christ using a worldview approach to life transformation through the gospel. We are able to assist in providing resources to share the plan of salvation with the Tibetan people. AFM is seeking a family willing to live among the Tibetan Buddhists who will share the gospel with them. Upon entering India, the family should choose a trade, whether it is teaching English, running a tourist trekking company, operating a health-related business, being an NGO employee, entering as a student, or as a skilled tent maker. No matter which trade you choose, reaching the Tibetan refugees through daily service is the best way to gain openness among them. By faith, Abraham made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. The Tibetan people need your help. They are like lost sheep that have wandered over the mountains and the hills. Let us show the Tibetans that God himself is the way. Let's teach them that he is more than silver and gold and that he actually hears us when we bow to him in prayer. My sheep wandered over all the mountains and on every high hill. They were scattered over the whole earth and no one searched or looked for them. Are you the one who God is calling to search for them? Are you willing to teach them to observe all things that God has commanded? Truly, I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you can say to this mountain, Go throw yourself in the sea, and it will be done. If this call has touched your heart, please come and join us as we share the love of Christ with the Tibetans. Have faith and God will be with you even unto the end of the world. To apply to be a missionary, fill out the missionary interest form online at afmonline.org. You may also call us at 800-937-4236. That's 800-937-4236. Frontier Missions. Reaching the unreached.